Yeah, the mod makers have been doing a lot of good work since Starfield came out. Uh, but you know, I got some ideas for mods that I'm hoping somebody will make uh, because I'm really starting to get pissed off with some, uh, some of the uh, parts of this game. Man, every time I land on a planet, you know, I just get that, that little, that wanderlust in me. You know, I'm so excited to explore this new planet. At least for the first five fucking times. And then, uh, and then I quickly was uh, asking, you know, can I have a bicycle or like a maybe one of those off-road skateboards? I'll take a penny farthing. I don't give a shit as long as I don't have to make that seven-minute run from my ship to the nearest thing. You don't know how often a night when I'm playing do I look at something off in the distance and try to calculate, is that cool enough to waste five minutes of my time walking over there? Because I know there's nothing in between me and that thing. There ain't nothing out there on these planets. Whoa, turned out to be a silo. And uh, and then and then I turn around and go back to the ship. You know, No Man's Sky actually had a great way of solving this problem. You could fly your ship in orbit. Do you guys remember that uh, killable children's mod for Skyrim? And the crowd goes wild! Ah! I could update it. Bethesda, I know you can uh, procedurally generate worlds. It'd be real cool if you could like generate a fucking map to go with it, you know? Cause this, this is not cutting it. It's like a joke. That I feel like somebody at Bethesda was like, hey, let's, let's call this a map and then see if they complain about it. And I know that I can pull out my Spy Kids glasses and see a little path on the floor of where I'm supposed to go. Uh, but I want a map. I'm sorry, if I'm in a city, I want a fucking map. Not gonna lie to you, I have not beat the game yet. I'm, you know, I'm in the throes of it. But knowing how little humor is in this game compared to previous games, I'm assuming you probably can't get this little guy as a companion. So I just want a mod where I can get that guy as a companion. Preferably multiple of them. I think it would be really badass if I just rolled into combat with like, like four of these things. You know, I want a bow mod in space, you know? And instead of the UCHQ, I want it to be the Citadel. And instead of the game, I want it to be Oblivion. So I was like hanging out in the city and I was like, hey, I'm gonna go to Ebside. And everybody was like, oh my God, don't go to Ebside. And then you walk in and this guy immediately grabs you and goes like, don't be a tourist here, man. It's not worth it. You're gonna get fucked up. And then everybody you talked to was just like, man, this place is a violent hellhole. How do we even live here? Why are we even here? And you know what? I was there for a couple hours. It was nice. Just took a stroll. Didn't see any violence. Here's a snippet of some of the conversation that happens in Ebside in this badass ghetto. So I've got some news for you. My partner and I, we expecting. No way. It won't be for a while, but we've already started shopping for a creep. I want to suggest diverting funds to xenobiological research, but I'm not sure if the profit margins justify it. Honestly, I was very let down. I remember going to Freeside in New Vegas 13 years ago now, and just getting mugged all the time. People would just see you and be like, you, you look like you have shit on you. And then they, and they would start beating you up with a lead pipe until I joined the Kings and then I got some respect. Yeah, I actually went back to New Vegas just to see if, you know, the nostalgia was clouding my vision. And no, I was in Freeside for like eight minutes. I met a drug dealer. Looking for a fix, man? I got what you need. I got mugged by a black dude wearing a cowboy hat. You, know, you don't see that too often. It's a good look. 
Yeah, you see like a white dude in a cowboy hat, you think this guy has to be racist. See a black guy in a cowboy hat, you don't you don't know what to think. Uh, I found a small child chasing a rat with a knife. That's never a good sign. You're not in a good neighborhood when you see that. Uh, there's there were bodyguards selling protection. Your safety is practically guaranteed for just 100 caps. I got mugged again. Ran into a prostitute. Got mugged a third time. Then, breath of fresh air, uh, I saw somebody else getting mugged. So I just stepped in to help them. Um, and that was like eight minutes. Eight minutes in Freeside. Uh, this guy thinks he's like Wiley Coyote. He's hiding behind like a, a little street sign. This game needs something where it's like more immersive faction presence or something. Like, don't tell me that there's dangerous gangs in Ebside. I should walk in and see that there's dangerous gangs in Ebside. Uh, I think this next one is gonna is a pretty obvious pick. That ship builder needs a complete fucking mod overhaul. Why why can't I see what the inside's gonna be like? I had this little tiny ship with like this little modern apartment in it, but you know I started getting some crew members and I wanted to have like a research station and stuff. And so I went to the ship builder. And I guess from the outside, it looked great and everything. And then I, I purchased everything. You have to purchase it so you can even see what the inside's gonna be like. I go in there and it just looks like, it looks like, a, it looks like an oil barge. Like, wait, where the hell? What? I don't get a say on what the inside's gonna look like. I should be able to decorate the inside just like in Fallout 4. What was wrong with it? This? this is a step backwards. I don't want a ship like this. Look at that thing. It's ultra wide. You know they got like a living room in here. Why can't I ever get in? Uh oh. I want to look inside anyways. Yeah, this isn't like a mod idea. This is just kind of a funny observation, but there's this place in uh, Ebside called Madame Savages. And this place has like the most badass hype music outside. Madame Sauvage's place, where the fun never stops, in the city that never sleeps. With the, the sound of that music and that voice and everything, you think, oh damn dude, they're probably having some Zion, like Matrix orgies in there. This is gonna be insane. Madame and then you, you go inside and it's like, it looks like a fucking cafeteria. And of course, the full gambit of like referential ships must be made in, in mod form. Uh, the Star Wars, the Bebop, Nostromo, the Austin Power ship, a Zeppelin, you know, stuff like that. I'm sure those will be added in at some point. And where's the, uh, what, any news on that CBBE guy? Is he gonna update the? All right, I know you guys are gonna call me a bitch and be like, oh, Sam, you know, get good. But rarely does Bethesda have a get good moment in their games. Any of the previous Bethesda games, if, 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 you know, if you start to get jumped, you can just leave. You can walk out the door and say, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna fight you right now. <laughs> I'm going. Uh, and in this game, sometimes when you travel to like a new star system or a planet, there's just guys there waiting to beat your ass. Anyways, I'm basically like, it's like a Pokemon battle. Like I'm just forced into this goddamn fight. I don't even have the option to run away like Ash does. And uh, it sucks. I should, be, I should be able to at least like have a chance to egress in some way. Maybe you like talk first. Maybe like there's a persuasion thing I could do or I could try to intimidate them by faction relations or something. Uh, and if I fit or bribe them. And then if you fail that, then it's a tussle, you know? And then I give them what for. But a fight out the gate, that's no future I want to be a part of. You added a photo mode? 
but I still have to remember a thousand fucking console commands for like set UFO cam multiplier 0.3, set game time multiplier 0.2, TFC, TM, TFC1, TAI. I have limited computing power up here, dude. I'm starting to forget the details about my daughter's lives to make way for all of these Bethesda console commands. Like with Reshade, there's a the little menu that pops up and you can, you can do stuff. You should be able to do that with like a free cam mod for, for Starfield, right? Keep your nose clean. Last thing I want is to charge you for a DP, an AMB, B&E, or heaven forbid, an MS. But at least then we wouldn't have to worry about a VOP, am I right? I, I, I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. It's like gang members talking about a fucking middle schooler trying crack. Ain't no kid no more, man. He touched the rock. 